Hello, everybody. Welcome to another great episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John. This is the world famous Sippin' Den. Down here is where I do all my videos. Have, I review everything that has anything to do with alcohol and coffee. Mm. Check out my playlist. I have everything broken down into to, uh, categories. Just go through that playlist. You'll see um, titles underneath that title. We click on it. All videos pertaining to that title. I got some cool titles. I'm going to tell you that right now. Every single thing I do gets tucked away in a nice uh, playlist. So, um, also the first comment of every video I do is always pinned because it has a link pertaining to um, whatever I'm reviewing. In this case, I'm doing something a little crazy. I'm going to compare High West campfire all right this is a blend of two ryes a bourbon and a scotch malt malted scotch um, they don't tell you the percentages of how much of each one they put in uh, it has to be high west rye uh, an mgp rye an MGP bourbon, a little high um, rye bourbon. They give you the mash bill, and then an unknown scotch. And here it is. I have reviewed it. All right. So if you want to check out that review, that would be just fine. I'm actually not sure where to. I um, guess I'll put this under American whiskey. I don't know where else to put it. All right. So there is. The high west now i'm going to make my own concoction using the same ingredients i'm going to use for my rye we'll start out with some pikeville so i'm gonna start with some pikeville and i have reviews of all these separately put a little pikeville in there and i'm gonna do this like i'm cooking in my head what i think Percentage would taste the best. Pikeville's in there. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of this uh, smoke wagon. That one's 100% rye. That's MGP. All right. A little bit of smoke wagon. All right. And then I went back and forth and back and forth. I'll put a high rye bourbon like they did. I chose Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Okay. I think that'll give me what I'm looking for. All right. And finally, for my scotch, I might have went a little over, I don't know. I'm doing the. Finish the bourbon cast so it makes sense. Talisker. Single malt scotch whiskey, aged 11 big ones. All right, I'll be honest about it. Stir it. Campfire. And that is heavy, heavy, heavy scotch. Sure, get it. But it has to taste like a little campfire, too. It has to be smoky. So. Mine is a little less. I love scotch. But this one's lighter than this one. More the influence of the bourbon and the rye. Just as long as it's peaty and smoky, I'll be good. You taste mine first. It's coming through. I'm getting the peat and smoke. But that's not all I'm getting. So, now, this campfire is another thing that's a problem. This is a 92 uh, a, um, proof, 40, 46 ABV. This is a mix of, uh, yeah, 
110. Probably should have put some water in it because it could have diluted it down to this uh, 90 something. But you know what? It's my mix. This is what I'm going to do. See, on mine, I'm getting, of course, there's the same ingredients, just a different percentage in rye and bourbon, right? They have corn, they have rye. In this case, they have corn, they have rye, and they have malted barley. Um, so they're similar, okay? I don't have any wheat at bourbon here. My scotch is, um, is peated and smoky. Okay, I'm tasting it. But I used a less percentage, I'm assuming, than they did because theirs is overwhelmingly. This is still campfire. Okay? You, you taste it just fine. Let's do theirs. I mean, I could smell it without tasting it, really. Theirs tastes like scotch that you put a little bit of bourbon in and or rye. Mine tastes like bourbon and or rye that you put a little scotch in. Got the smoke. I didn't overdo it. Theirs is good. Theirs is good. You know I. So it is good. Theirs is good, but mine's better. 